Hi, my name is Lily. I will be reading to you a story about Kale's day surgery operation at the Stollery Children's Hospital. Okay, are you ready? Let's begin. Hi there, my name is Kale. This is my mom, Melissa. I hear that you are going to have an operation. I came for an operation too. I am going to show you around so you feel more comfortable. Let's go over some places and things you may want to know about your time at the hospital. Some important stuff. Please do not eat breakfast the morning of your operation. Bring to the hospital all your medicines, an extra change of clothes and indoor gym shoes, special food or formula, medical equipment and supplies that you use at home, toiletries like your toothbrush and toothpaste, things to keep you busy, a special stuffed toy called a stuffy or a favorite blanket. When you arrive at the hospital, go to Unit 1A1, Stollery Day Ward. Wave your hand over the black square. The door will magically open. After registration, you will sit in the waiting area. Please try to be patient until it's your turn. There's movies to watch, or you can bring something to do. There may be other children waiting too. Waiting area cannot eat or drink. There is no food or drink allowed for anyone here, even grown-ups. When it's your turn, a nurse will weigh you and measure to see how tall you are. Make sure you take off your shoes and stand up nice and straight. Next, you will change into hospital clothes. Please take off all your clothing, underwear, jewelry, and piercings. You may wear slippers or socks to keep your feet warm. Time to check you out. Blood pressure. This band gives your arm a hug. It will get tight and loose around your arm. Your job is to keep your arm very still, just like kale. Temperature. This takes your temperature by gently touching your forehead and temples. It will beep when it's done. Breathing. A nurse will put a sticker or clip on your finger or toe. The red light checks how well you're breathing. It may look like a band-aid, but with the light. Try to hold your finger still. Medicine time. Your nurse will let you know if you need medicine called Tylenol. You can take it yourself or have the nurse give it to you. This medicine is to help you feel more comfortable after surgery. Some kids say it tastes sweet. You may also need other medicine. Your nurse will let you know. Next is numbing cream. The nurse will put some special cream on top of both of your hands. It will be covered with a clear sticker. The cream helps your skin feel numb, which is kind of like frozen. Try not to move it around. The cream helps you get ready for a special plastic straw called an IV. You might meet a child life specialist. They can help you understand more about what you will see and do while at the hospital, plan ways to help you if you feel unsure or scared, and even have some fun with you. After you're done getting ready, you will meet with the anesthesiologist, the sleepy medicine doctor. This is a great time to ask lots of questions, like if someone special can join you in the operating room. My sleepy medicine doctor told my mom she could go into the operating room with me. When it's your turn, a nurse will come and show you into the operating room. You can bring your stuffy or blanket with you. Visitors to the operating room must wear a hat and gown because the operating room is very clean. You might notice the room is very bright and can be chilly. There is a lot of equipment and there may be a lot of people too. It can be noisy with many people talking. The doctors and nurses will be wearing hospital clothes, masks, and hair nets to protect you from germs. All the people in the room are there to take special care of you. You will get sleep medicine to help you sleep and stay sleeping for your operation. This sleep is not the same as nighttime sleep. You won't hear, see, or feel anything while you're sleeping. The sleep medicine is put into a small plastic straw called an IV. You will learn more about IVs on the next page. You may also need to breathe special air using a mask to help you sleep. 
Some kids say the mask smells like strawberries. So what is an IV? An IV is a small plastic straw that goes in your vein to give your body sleep medicine. Veins are like tubes inside your body that carry blood all over. Can you find the veins on your hands? Steps for getting an IV. In the operating room, the doctor will take the clear stickers off your hands. They will clean your hand with a cool, wet cloth. A stretchy rubber band will go around one arm to help your veins show better. It feels like a tight hug. A small needle helps to gently slide the plastic straw into your vein. The needle comes out and just the tiny plastic straw stays in. A sticker and some tape goes over top to hold the straw in place. Things that can help when getting an IV. Take deep breaths and try to relax your body. You can choose to watch or look away. Squeeze your teddy bear or someone's hand. Tell the doctor if you want them to count to three. Use your imagination to picture your favorite place. It's okay to cry, but no screaming. Remember, your job is to hold your arms still. After your operation, you will go to PACU to wake up. It is also called the recovery room or the wake up room. PACU stands for the Post Anesthetic Care Unit. Nurses with special training will look after you here. They will check your blood pressure, breathing, and temperature, and look at your bandages. Safety reminders. When the hospital bed is moving, please lay very still in the bed. There will be more stuff attached to you than you remember. Try your very best not to pull on them. There will be a BP cuff, met the medicine straw, and some more cords. After the operation, you will go back to day ward. A nurse will check your temperature, blood pressure, and breathing. Make sure to let your nurse know how you are feeling. Your parent or caregiver will be there with you as soon as possible. You might feel a bit sleepy and want to take a nap. Other patients will be napping too, so please try to be quiet. Shh! These patients need a long nap before they can go home. Doctor's orders. If the doctor says it is okay, you may have a clear drink. You can ask your nurse for juice, ginger ale, popsicles, jello, or water. There is a patient kitchen where grown-ups can get you more to drink, and later, something to eat if the nurse says it's okay. You may need more medicine in case you feel sore after your surgery. Make sure you tell your nurse if the medicine is not working. If your tummy is upset or you feel like throwing up, tell your nurse. There is medicine for that too. Before you go home, you will go for a short walk on the unit. The nurse will also check the area where you were operated. Your nurse will take out your medicine straw and give you a Band-Aid. If you have to stay overnight after surgery, one parent or caregiver can stay right beside you. Around four in the morning, a nurse will wake you to get you ready to go home. Well, now it's home time. Your nurse will let you know when you can go home. There may be last minute instructions on how to care for you at home. Ask your nurse before you leave. Make sure you bring home with you all the stuff that you brought to the hospital. Thanks for following Kale on his surgical journey. Make sure you talk to your family, friends, nurses, or doctors if you have any questions. This is the end of Kale's story. Here is a list of all the friends that helped tell Kale's story. Thank you for listening.